foundation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to welcome Amen. those that are joining us for the very first time. We want to welcome you especially. You are welcome to the program of Good Morning Just Family Foundation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We want to tell you Amen. that you are in the midst of people that care about you, that thinks about you, that I'll be praying for you. Whatever be the reason, whatever be those things that have been troubling you for years, as you follow us, the Almighty God is going to do you good because no one come to the Messiah and go with empty handed You didn't join any group or secret court, no. You have joined the family of God. People that are talking about holiness. People that are talking about heaven. And as you yield yourself to the message, you follow the instruction, and I tell you, your testimony will not pass you by in Jesus' name. This morning, let's turn our Bible to the book of uh, Psalm, chapter 15, from verse 1 to 5. Psalm 15, from verse 1 to 5. Please, after this program, we are going to be having another midnight program that will console by 12 midnight. And uh, this 12 midnight program, please, you that are having 
exam tomorrow, Tuesday, don't miss to be in that program. And uh, all of you that are having issue, send me the prayer request on the WhatsApp on my private number so that we can able tonight is going to be a different night through the help of the Holy Spirit. God will take absolute control. He has been doing things strange and is going to do strange things again. Endeavor to make sure you are in that all night. Are we there in the book of Psalm 15? Yes. yes, sir. Please read. Let all of us move our mind. Psalm 15, verse 1, I read. Lord, who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall dwell in the holy hills? He that walketh uprightly and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. Tiri, he that backbites not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Verse 4. In whose eyes a veiled person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own heart and changeth not. Verse 5. He that putteth not out his money to Uzri, not taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Yes, God bless you. The topic this morning say, Who shall abide in the tabernacle of the Almighty God? Who shall abide in the tabernacle of the Almighty God? Who shall be saved a time like this? Who will God protect a time like this? Who will God bless a time like this? Who will God deliver a time like this? Who is going to be the person that will be a safe man a time like this? A person that have that have made a decision, a decision. To repent, a decision to follow the law, a decision no matter what is going on today in the world, I've made up my mind. Who shall buy in the tabernacle of the Almighty God? Who is the person? Look at verse 2. It says, Him that walketh upright. Who and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his own heart, who shall abide under, who shall abide under the tabernacle of the Almighty God, who shall come before his presence, who we who we call here, who is the person that we call on God, God will hear. Is someone who walketh in uprightness? Is someone who walketh in the truth? Who walketh in righteousness? You know there are people that claim they are Christians, but they claim they are Christians. They fail to drop the old characters. They fail to drop. The old dressing. If you ask them, are you a Christian? They tell you, yes, I am a Christian. But you cannot say Christianity in them. They can tell you they are not lying, yes. They may be doing that. But there are little, little things that is not right with God. And those people they refuse to remove their hand away from the things of this world, like the makeup of this world, like the weapon of this world, woman hairs of this world, all these as Jezebel properties. And they refuse to remove their hand away. Some have unforgiveness spirit, but they tell you they are Christians. Some tell you that, yes, this brother, this sister have offended me for years. I will not talk to him. 
Yes. But these people, they will tell you they go to church and pray. Remember, in the work of uprightness, in the, in the work of righteousness, how can someone walk in righteousness? Who can tell, tell us how can someone walk in righteousness? Can somebody tell us how can someone walk in righteousness? Nobody? Hallelujah. First of all, uh, the first one can walk in righteousness. Can you in speak louder, please? Praise the Lord. First and uh, foremost, before someone can walk in righteousness, he or she must be born again, spirit filled, and with a total heart dedication to God Almighty. The way of doing that, God. he or she can have the. Go on, go on. We are not here. By, by way of doing that, he or she can walk in total righteousness with God Almighty. Okay. Praise God bless Lord. you. What is what is the what is righteousness we are talking about? What is that righteousness? What is righteousness? Can someone tell us what is righteousness we are talking about? Yes. Um, good morning, sir. Righteousness is working right according to the will of God, being like Jesus, having the lifestyle of Jesus. Having the lifestyle of Jesus. Righteousness is working according to the will of Jesus. Yes? Can another person give us the intro of righteousness? Any other person? Go ahead. Hallelujah. Righteous, righteousness. I need to be somebody who have no sin. Eh? Somebody, somebody who have no sin. Somebody who, who is clean. You have who have no sin. Somebody who have no sin. God, God bless you. Any other person raising up hand? Okay. That I putting off the old, the old life. By putting off the old life and taking on the new life in Christ, when you, when you you become a born again, you can no longer do the things that you used to do before. Okay, God bless all of you. We I believe that I have explained to you people before. When we talk of righteousness, we are talking about the image of God itself. The image of God is the righteousness of the saints. That image is Jesus himself. And when someone have an encounter and the person can no more put on, put on his old life, such a person will put off the old man. That old man is the person himself. And now, it will not put on the new man, which is the image of God, the Christ itself. Because you are not, you have come to a understanding that you don't owe your life, that someone owes your life, which is Jesus who died in the cross of Calvary. And by doing this, what happened? You can't begin to tell lie anymore. You can't begin to dress anymore the way you used to dress. You can't begin to what? To go out there buying set of properties of with that. All these things, somebody will say, no, I am not convinced. How can you say that I am buying set of property? I will tell you. Those things you are seeing in market, those makeup, those all those things you are seeing, those woman hair, you know that all these things are what? Artificial. Am I right? And the woman hair is another person's hair. You know that where we read yesterday in the book of a Roman, turn with me there, Roman chapter 12, where we read yesterday, 
He opened our eyes to see the picture of what God expected for his children that decided that gave them up to him. Are we there now in Romans chapter 12? Verse 12, Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. He said, I beseech thee, wherefore, by the mercy of God, that what? That he, who is he there, you, that he presents your bodies, man, the word, bodies, a living sacrifice. Do you see that? That he presents your bodies, a living sacrifice, man, that word. Your body did not, did not represent only the heart. I explained this to you yesterday, but I'm going back because of the people that was not there yesterday. Your body is what? Is head, your eyes, your ear, your mouth. I told you before, the day you go to market and buy those things you call makeup and begin to paint your mouth as you are in the mirror, you know what you are saying to the Lord? You are saying, Lord, you made a mistake. You're supposed to paint my mouth red. You made a mistake for making it black. When you begin to carry those things, what do you need to, what do you call it? Is it a, um, what, you, what, is, what is the name of those makeup you are using? What is, what is their name? Mary, is it Mary Kay? Uh, uh, Mary Kay. Mary Kay. There is Mary Kay. Mary Kay. All these things you call Mary Kay. I don't know the names you call them. You know that if I ask now, you can't go to call their name. You will say this man again. You don't come. Yes, I must tell you the truth. Do you know why? Anytime that we are here, I used to, I don't, I can't fail to tell you the truth because I love you so much the way I love my life. I have this deep love in you. The deep love, not for that, not for the area to have sex with you, no. The area that I love your soul, I don't want to see your soul going to hell. Because of that, it is my duty as we gather here, as the Lord has made me to be his man peace, to tell you the information that the heaven is giving, not what will make me to have multitudes of people, what will make me to be famous in the world, and at the end, I am not famous in heaven, no. Not a something that will make you right now to enjoy the things of the, to enjoy, to marry, have children, and everything is working good. But things are not working right between you and your maker. And you will know if you, if anything happens, you cannot reach heaven, no. My priority is that at the end of this journey, that no man or woman on this group will go to hell. That is my prayer, and that is the reason why I will not fail to tell you what I know about. And I can die by that truth. I, that, is the, that is the final truth. Therefore, brothers and sisters, the time or any day, any hour, you go to market and buy those things you call woman hair. You know what you are saying? You are saying, Lord, you make a mistake. You make a terrible mistake of creating me and you give me short hair. If you know those things, how those things have been transformed in spiritual way, you may see those things, they are physic in physical, but you, because you have a short side, you are not seen spiritually to know what behind those things. Those things, whenever you are doing it, how Satan and Jezebel, they are rejoicing. Why Christ will be lamenting my daughter, especially some of you husband, that you are supporting your wife, that you don't know that if you are a woman, you are here this early morning. If you have not yet taken your shower, after taking your shower, bed, after you have done, go to mirror, don't rub anything. Go to mirror and see the beauty that God has given to you. Because when God created you, he created you with his own image and likeness. Therefore, there is no any other image you should maintain, rather than to maintain the, the image that God has given to you. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together this morning? Yes. Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't allow anything. The reason why you are saying that we are stronger in prayer, look at it. Where we, we are coming back again to finish that book of uh, uh, Roma. Look at it in verse 2 in the uh, uh, Psalm 15, verse 2. He said, He that walketh upright and walketh with righteousness and what and speaketh the, and speaketh the truth in his own heart. You know, there are people when they speak, not in their heart. They, so some men will say, Woman, I love you, but that love does it really come inside the deep heart? No. That love is what just a little love, not on the heart. Why? Because that man wants to make a, he want to make caricature with that woman to sleep with that woman, to take advantage of that woman, but inside the heart, say, if I do it now, I go away. That is what the Lord is talking about. But there are what there are truth that come in, in the deep heart. Truth that you are ready to die for it. That there is nothing on this earth can shift you away from this truth. What truth are we talking about? The truth that somebody will tell you right now, sister, you have been looking for a job. Yes, for you to for me to promote you. I must come and sleep with you. You must come. Then we will do that. You will tell the person, perish with your position and with your money. But you will not say because Bartholomew is not there. I need to do it because I need that position. If you go ahead and do it, you have the position, but your name has been tear out of the book of life. Friend, many people value the tissue paper. This thing we call money, pounds, dollar, euro, nara, rather than what their soul. But the law is telling us there is a need in this particular time because we are injury time of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this injury time, Many Christians are going back. You know that the Bible said there will be first falling away before the coming of Christ. Now, I am praying for all of you that that scripture will not fulfill in your head. And said that particular person that said, No, the scripture must fulfill on his head. Friend, we must know the person that can abide in the tabernacle of the Almighty. The person that can live, what does it mean? Abide, simply mean live, live there. Somebody that can enter my house, somebody that can enter what, that can have access to my property. I tell you, it's only the person that what, that obeyed me, that can have access of my properties. Is that not true? You know, when a father is giving a will, and they find out they have the children, some obey him, some does not obey him, some doesn't care about his life. If he's giving the we, you will find out that he gave a we to those children that obey him. And the one that didn't obey him, he, sometimes he will give a one. Sometimes he will say, no, I tear you out of my life. You are not my child because you cause sorrow to my life. Friend, the same way that a sinner is not a child of God. A sinner has no access to joy, to peace, to happiness, to love. I tell you the truth. Have no oil, have no right to enter the kingdom of God. Have no right to walk, to knock at door, the door of God. A sinner has no right to pray a prayer that heaven will hear. Remember that heaven, God does not hear the prayer of a sinner. Somebody will say, no. How can you live a holy life? Friend, we, you know there are people that teach you. They tell you you are under grace. 
Now, your grace, the grace you are under, the grace has given you access to become Yahoo Plus, to become a cookie dealer, to become, to be sponsoring guests, to a guest be on the street. My friend is a lie. That is what the doctrine of the devil will say. The grace of God that brings salvation in the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11 to 14, is that this grace that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness, unworldly lust. We should live somebody righteously in this present world. Friend, if you cannot live a righteous life in this world, you cannot go to heaven. Do you understand that? Are we together this morning? Are we together? Yes. Eh? Yes, sir. This is the truth. Yes, sir. The grace is available for you. It is for you to activate it and make a decision. A decision I have decided to go to heaven. It's a personal decision. He that shall abide in the tabernacle of the Lord will be only a person who repented from the inner heart and said, Lord, I gave up to you. This is the only person that can abide in the tabernacle of God. This is the only person that can have access to things that belong to God. In Romans 2, 12, I read from verse 2, uh, 1 to 2. He said, I beseech you, wherefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy, man, the word, holy, brother, your head must be holy, sister, your mouth must be holy, your ear must be holy, your eyes must be holy. You don't need to go and buy those things you call, don't be I, 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 no. Your ear must be holy. Everything about you must be holy. Your heart must be holy. That is the word. Holy that there is nothing evil against my wife, against my husband. Holy that I don't plan evil against anybody. Holy that somebody offended me. I said, brother, you offended me. That thing is out of my mind. Holy. This is it. We, if we cannot live a holy life, I tell you we cannot reach heaven. If it is not possible, Jesus could have not said, without holiness, no man shall walk, shall see my father. And it is not possible. He said, now, he said, which is, the reason, which is your reasonable service? And be not conformed to this world. But by the, by, he said, but, he said, but, he transformed by the renewal of your mind by the renewal of your mind, that your mind has been regenerated. Your mind has been transformed. That wickedness has been knocked out. That anger has been knocked out. Immorality has been knocked out. That I'm married, I cannot go and work and begin to look for any other woman. That I have not yet married, I have decided to keep my body. I can't join those people that are into girlfriend and girlfriend. You know, there are some usher, there are some choir in the church, those churches, that people that are into boyfriend and girlfriend, they are leaders in church, they are workers in church. But all these things, God does not interest them or such workers in church. If for you to be a worker, you must first of all know the principle of God. You can't be working for God when you are not what his child. God cannot accept such a work. God does not want such a work. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are we, are we sleeping or we are together? Eh? We are together, we are together sir. sir. God bless you. We are together, you. sir. There is no need for you to begin to make caricature with your life. There is no need for you to begin to deceive yourself. Saying, I am praying. God is not hearing me. Brother, how honest are you? Sister, how sincere are you? Brother, how sincere are you? How obedient are you? How do you follow his law? Do you really obey him? How did you take him? Did you really take him as the first, as the first priority in your life? 
friend, we must know if our mind did not renew to have the mind of Christ, you are not his child. We must, I pray that uh, the time will be enough for us to exhaust this message. We need to have this understanding. We must not allow somebody to make caricature with our soul or with our journey from earth to heaven. The person that can enter heaven is a person that works in opera. Turn with me in the book of uh, in the book of uh, First Peter. Let us see. Are there no people here? When if, if they are talking to people, they are lying on phone. Are there not some people? They go to Facebook. They are in Italy. They will write there in Canada. They will write there in America. But all these are Christians. You will say it doesn't matter. That is social media. If it doesn't matter, why did you even write it at all? Friend, you don't understand that. In First Peter chapter 4, sorry, First Peter chapter 1, verse 14. Look at it. Say, As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to what? To the former laws in your ignorance. The time you have not known the law, you used to fashion your body. You used to fashion yourself to be poker fanta. You used to fashion your head. You used to fashion your ear. I told you, sister, before, if God needs hold here, inside your room, God could have put hold here. If God wants hold here, but now you now want to go and destroy the beauty God has created and God really put hold here. You now said that is how to go a woman. My friend, all this is his love. There is a need to have this understanding as obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former laws in your ignorance. Look at the city. He said, But as me, which I called you, is holy, so what? So be ye holy in all manner of your conversation. Be ye holy. You are talking to your husband, you are talking to your wife, you are doing business. You are talking to your boss anywhere you are. Be ye holy. You are going to Komu where you are seeking for help. You are going to those people that want to give you apartment. You are going to anywhere, any area. Holy in conversation. That is the second point. The first one is when you are said Jesus, he put his deposit in you. The second is any word that proceeds out of your mouth is what? Holy. But today, Christians are saying they are Christians, but you cannot see truth in them. But man, the war, I told you that a time will not be enough for us to exhaust this message. That we can we can cause God to withdraw his presence for our life through our act of or act of unrighteousness. We can cause God. To withdraw his presence out of our life. Do you understand that? Someone can cause God to withdraw his presence through our act of what? Of righteousness, of deviating away from the track. We can cause God to what? To withdraw his presence out of our life. If God withdraw his presence, friend, we are finished. But someone can cause that. Someone can say it doesn't matter, and that, that word doesn't matter. You can use it to cause God to withdraw His presence out of your life. But I pray that God of heaven will help us in Jesus' name. Selfishness can also cause that selfishness. Today, many Christians are what are so selfish. Many pastors are so selfish. We are not ready. So we are not ready to suffer for other people to be alive anymore. And some people, when they sin, when they fall away from the track, the, the next thing you see them, they are arguing. They can't go down on their knee and say, Father, I have sinned against you. There is no more heart of repentance, but there is a need, a Christian who realizes that, hey, I'm on a journey, that you, you look into your life, you made a mistake instantly. You go and say, Father, forgive me. Forgive me my sin. And the Lord of heaven will forgive that person. And the person will turn away from sin 
He will turn from their sin and continue to seek the world, seek through Christ. To what? To, through Christ, and continue to seek the Lord's presence. It is very, very important. Let's look at the book of uh, 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. Who shall abide? 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. Brothers, what type of secret life are you still living? 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. Anybody there? Are we there? I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, sir. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes, you must study yourself. You must study to show yourself approved so that you will not be deceived by the false doctrine that are in the world. Realizing that uh, to lost communion with God is to lose everything. To lose communion with God is to lose everything. To lost fellowship with God is to love everything. Let's read in First John chapter 1. First John chapter 1. From verse uh, 6 to 7. First John chapter 1. 6 to 7. If you are not there, I read here. Praise the Lord. I'm Hallelujah. So if we say that we we have not fellowship with him. No, read that please. And what fucking darkness we lie. If, if we say, verse 6, I read. If we say that we have fellowship with him and we walk in darkness, we lie. And we do not have the truth, the truth. Verse 7, but if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleans us from all sins. Yes, God bless you. If we say I should that, continue, sir. No, stop there. If we say that we have fellowship, Hello. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers Hallelujah. and sisters, Hallelujah. if we say we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth, and we do not know the truth. Now, somebody can ask, how am I walking in darkness? You are walking in darkness when you did not make God to be your first priority. Well, let's talk of the area of money. When you receive your salary, before you spend anything, do you say no? The government have taken their tasks. The first thing I must do, I must give God what belongs to God. Do you do that? In the area of money, but you say you are a born again, but you are walking in darkness of non obedience. When God is telling you, go to evangelism, do you say go to evangelism? When God is talking to you, keep quiet, don't talk. Do you say keep quiet? When God is telling you, don't spend your money from those things that does not go with me. Do you still listen to me? You are, work, you are still working in darkness. The truth is not in you. If truth is in you, friend, you will take God as the first priority in your life. If truth is in you, I tell you, there are things you can do that when you are doing it, you will see you are having joy. It's enough, but if we walk in the light, as he is in life, we have fellowship with him. We have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleans us from all sin. You can see that we can be clean for all sin because the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, we clean us from all sin. No matter the sin, whether you are a murderer, whether you are a fornicator, whether you are living, you are living, I don't care before. But when you are saved and follow according to his principle, is, is the blood of Jesus Christ will wash all your sins away and it will make you holy. That is that is what we are talking about today. We go back again in 1 John chapter 2 from verse uh, 
verse John chapter 2 from verse 3 to 6. First John chapter 2 from verse 3 to 6. First John chapter 2 from verse 3 to 6. If you are not there, I read here. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Go on. First John, uh, first John 3 to 6. And here we John do two. know that we know him. No. First John 2. First John. First John 2, 3 to 6. Yes. 3. Oh, 3 to 6. Yes. Okay. And hereby we do know that we know him. <clears throat> if we keep his commandments, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his command, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whosoever keepeth his word, <clears throat> In him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. Yes, Praise God bless you. Do you see that? In and hereby we know we do we do know that what we know him if we keep his commandments. Do you keep his commandments? Friend, do you really keep his commandment? Holy, do you really keep his commandment? That shall not bear for witness against your neighbor. Do you really keep his commandment? Do you really stand on the truth? In the area when we talk of money, do you really stand on the truth? Do you follow him? Do you obey him? Do you really follow his standard? Friend, if we, he said, he that what, he that says, I know him, and keepeth not his commandment, what happened? He's a liar, and the truth is not in him. Do you keep his commandment? Do you tell your wife the truth? Do you tell your husband the truth? If you are talking to a pastor, do you tell them the truth? That they may help you. Do you tell them the truth? Friend? You are a liar. Remember, who shall abide in the tabernacle of the Almighty? The only person that shall abide is only the person that said, No, as son today, I have made up my mind to keep his commandment. Brother and sister, do you keep his commandment not to cheat people? Do you keep his commandment to forgive your brother, your sister? That are sinned against you maybe years ago, you send money to somebody, the person ate the money, and you are seeing your mind that over my dead body, I will never talk to the person again. How can you say you are a Christian? You have such a mind. But the Lord Jesus Christ is calling on us now. Let's read this final place we close here. We read this final place we close in First John chapter 3. First John chapter three. We read that place we close. First John chapter three. We read from verse twenty one to twenty four. Another person are we there? I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, I read in Jesus' name. Beloved. If our hearts condemn us, this, not, your voice is low. then have we confidence? To... Okay, sir. Sorry, sir. 21. Beloved, if our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence towards God. Man, the word. Stop there, first. Stop and what... there. First. Stop there. Okay, you can sir. see that it said, Beloved, if what? If our heart condemn us not, then. Are we what? Are we confident towards what? Towards God. You know when you are doing something, your heart will condemn you. You know when you are when you are lying, your heart will be condemning you. When you are insulting your husband, your heart will be condemning you. When you are insulting your wife, your heart will be condemning you. You know when you are not living right with God, your heart will be condemning you. Friend, if your heart condemns you, simply means you are God. Simply mean you are out of the trap. But Jesus is saying right now, my son, 
my daughter, come back to me. I, that is the truth. Go ahead, sister. Amen. 22. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandment and to those things that are pleasing in his sight. I should go on, sir. Go on, go on, go on, because of the time. 23. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of, of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, as he gave us commandments. 24. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him. And whereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he has given us. Yes, God bless you. Mark the reason why we must change our way as for this morning. He said, and whosoever, whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Whatsoever, children, husband, wife, documents, whatsoever, peace, joy, happiness, whatsoever, riches, whatsoever. Why? Because we keep his commandment. If you fail to keep the commandment for one month, you can suffer for one year. If you fail to keep his commandment for one day, you can suffer, you can suffer, you can suffer, you can suffer in your life. Right? There is a need, maybe sometimes God wants to try it. He wants to move you to do something extraordinary. Why? Because he wants to release those things you have been asking to your life. But you pay. As you pay, that thing can be made. That it will cost extra years before that thing can be made. Friend, do you really keep his commandment? If he is talking to you, do you still really listen to his voice? And do you really still accept his voice? Who shall abide in the tabernacle of the Lord? Who shall ask and he will receive? Who is the person that we ask that we receive? He that keep his commandment. But for you to keep his commandment, you must first of all be what? Be his child. If you are not his child, you can't be able to keep his commandment. Because you will not know his version. Because you will not know those things. But when you become his child, that is only where you can able to keep his commandment. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is talking to us now. This is the, his commandment, that we should believe on his name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment doeth, draweth in him, and doeth in him, and in him, and in him, and hereby we know that he, he abides in us by the spirit which he has given us. Therefore, brothers and sisters, I want you to look into your life. Who shall abide in the tabernacle of the Almighty? He that have no mouth of barbatas. You know, there are people, their mouth, eh? they use their mouth to kill people. They use their mouth to destroy people. They use their mouth to rubbish people, to rubbish the Christian door. There are people like that. Who shall abide in the tabernacle? Who shall receive from God? It's only the person that follow this question. Why can't you bow down your head this morning and talk to God and tell him, Lord, I've heard your word this morning. My eyes are open to see the person who will really abide in the tabernacle. This morning, Father, I'm making up my mind. The person that we ask and we receive, the person who obey his word, who follow righteousness, who deviated away from sin, who repented, who know his boundary, who said, no, I will not pass my boundary. That person that love righteousness, that hate iniquity. Talk to God this morning. Tell him to help you. Tell him, Lord, I have made up my mind to live for you. This morning, my eyes are open. I have seen the area 
where I have missed out. I see the area where I've not been enjoying my peace. I see the area where I've not been enjoying my happiness. I see the area where my blessing, where my blessing has been stopped off because I've not been following you. I've been making a wrong prayer, but this morning, Lord, my eyes are open. Talk to God this morning. Tell the Lord to help you. Eternal Father, we are grateful. We appreciate you this morning. <clears throat> Daddy, our eyes are open. Who shall abide in the tabernacle of the Almighty? Who shall ask of husband? Who shall ask of wife? Who shall ask of document? Who shall ask of job? Who shall ask of peace? Lord, somebody who walk in upright. Somebody who walk in righteousness. Father, I pray that you will have mercy on us. <clears throat> where we have not been walking in righteousness, where we have not been walking in uprightness, Father, we are asking for mercy. As of this hour, Daddy, we are repenting for all our sins. Father, is it through Facebook? Is it through Instagram? Is it through YouTube or Messenger? Or my Father in glory, what's up? Or in the other way, that we are not be walking uprightly. Father, this morning, we are repenting. Because our eyes are open, we are seeing how Satan has been destroying our life. How Satan has hindered our blessing for years. But this time, not the oh Lord, you make us to understand the only person that will receive that person that obey the commandment. When the person asks, and you receive, oh eternal father, I don't want to be foolish. I don't want to be stupid anymore. Lord, I don't want to cause poverty to my life. I don't want to cause hindrance to my life. Father, this morning, I am repenting for all my way. Lord, I pray for as many of your children that are saying right now, I have got the message. Lord, you did said, Lord, when we walk in uprightness, when we walk in righteousness, Lord, you didn't say you will allow our enemy to be tormented us. Lord, you said no. Lord, my father, Lord, I pray this morning, as your children make their decision, Lord, to walk in all brightness, to walk, oh Lord, in righteousness, Lord, let the blessing abide in them. Let the blessing flow in their life. Let happiness flow in their life. Let breakthrough be in their portion in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I pray, Lord, in any area where Satan have hold them bound, Satan have tied their wound, Satan they have padlocked their life, Satan all have blocked their life. Father, this morning I open their life in the name of Jesus. I open the doors of success, doors of breakthrough, doors of marriage, Lord, my Father, doors of children. Lord, I open those doors that have been closed against them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you, Holy Father that you will go ahead and do your work in your life, that at the end, your name will be glorified. Father, thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because there is no one like you. Thank you because you are the other Father. Thank you because you say we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. I pray for total freedom. Total freedom. Total freedom in your life. Total 